Ah, the Ant Hill. Made famous by the Code and Exiles YouTuber Tsaronis Leaves. This spot has always been one of the best building spots in the game, due to how hard it is to find if you aren't specifically looking for it. But in these times of double sideways gateways and the keyhole and near unraidable ceiling bases and the southern aqueduct and the jungle vertical cave, it's easy to dismiss the Ant Hill from being a viable end game base spot. That was until I made a discovery. Due to the developers of Code and Exiles being the way they are, Namidian gateways do not take explosive damage from above, they only take burning damage. This means that if you could plug the vertical space in the anthill entirely with gateways, building first with another type of gateway such as Stormglass or Terranium, and then replacing them afterwards with Namidian, not only would it be completely unraidable with a single person repairing the gateways from below, it would also be 10 times easier than repairing all the ceilings in a ceiling base. And smoke and acid arrows fired into the top of the gateway should not bother anyone below them making it the perfect base design. And in case you were wondering how you get in and out of the base, there is just enough space to build a transitory stone in the level beneath the gateways. The beds and storage chests go down below the lower transitory stone portal, and bed rolls, a circle of power, all workstations and a second transitory stone go up in a section of the base well above the gateways. Just before raid time starts, the idea is to carry your valuables from the top part of the base where your workstations are, through the transitory stone portal and into the stash part below the gateways. Store everything away safely and then take everything you need for raid time, deactivate the portal down below so it cannot be accessed by other players and then pull bracelet, spawn at your bedroll up top and then corpse some of the stuff that is needed for raid time that was on your corpse. To reactivate the portal after raid time, simply spawn at your bed and reignite the transmittery stone. Just make sure that you always have enough blood and brimstone to activate it, or you will have to do a little bit of rebuilding. And inside the top part of the base is also room for a map room, so you can travel where you need to. And this base being unraidable relies entirely on the Namidian gateways and the defending clan having chests full of repair materials and repair hammers to replenish the HP of the gateways before they even come close to being broken by the burning damage. What you put above the Namidian gateways and below your workstation level is entirely up to you, as all these parts do is give you more time before you have to check the event log while out of base during raid time. For the best possible design, you can place rows of fence foundations with pay to win pyramid caps attached to them. This design means that there is not a single spot where the explosive jars can be placed easily, as you have not built any intersections in the fence foundations, and there is nowhere on the pyramid caps where the bombs can be placed. And this means that due to there being no real viable trebuchet locations, the only way in is to use explosive arrows which takes a lot longer than explosive jars. And this is of course assuming you have made the correct decision of abandoning the cheetah riddled official servers and have found a nice private server to play on where gods are banned. If you are playing on an official server, the only thing you have to worry about is Yebel Sag, as no other gods can reach into the lower part. As you can see here, Yog can damage the gateways if he is hovering in the perfect place, but it is possible to repair that. Whereas the Yebel will fire through the mesh and destroy all beds and chests in the very bottom. The only way I can think to stop this is to place building pieces around the lower part on the outside of the mountain to stop the able from getting close enough to damage the beds and chests. Maybe also add some archer thralls with acid arrows as I imagine they will lower the god timer. So to recap, at the very bottom below the gateways you have the unraidable stash spot with all the storage, beds and the transmittery stone. Above that is the gateways and your repair level. Above that is your layer of caps and fence foundations or whatever else you choose to do. This level should really go up to the point where the mountain opens up and then on top of that is a workstation level with a circle of power into corp summon. The level above that is the map room, an upper transmittery stone, as well as a hidden room filled with bedrolls and base defence gear to try and prevent raiders from ever reaching the gateways. 
Above that is an optional animal pen and above that is a few more layers of caps and rows of fence foundations finished with a layer of pyramid caps on the roof. And there you have it, the best spot in the whole of Exiled Lands and a showcase of how pay to win the new building pieces really are. And finally, I did manage to get a bomb to go down the pyramid caps, but it did take a long time, so I think it still may be quicker to arrow them. Good luck if you decide to build here, and I'll see you all next time.